Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're doing a reading today. Um, this is going to be what does this person want to happen between you? So you're asking about someone, um, this is going to be a love reading. Um, so you're asking about a person, um, maybe you're unsure, maybe they haven't been clear about what they want with you. Um, so we're going to dig into maybe what they want between you, um, why they feel this way, and uh, we'll also be doing a yes-no coin flip for each particular pile. Um, the cards that we're using today are one card from the Messenger Oracle, um, two cards from the Classic Rider Wait, two cards from the Cat Tarot, and two cards from the Gypsy Witch Lenormand deck. Um, the icons that you have today, the first reading is Gotta Love Me, Kitty Cat. The second reading is I'm Bored, Kitty Cat. And the third reading is Flower Power, Kitty Cat. So I'm just going to be quiet, uh, give you guys a moment to pick which cat you're drawn to. Hopefully the glare is not bad. I tried to find the best location for that, but... Um, I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys pick. Okay, so if you pick the first reading, Gotta Love Me Kitty Cat, let's look at your cards. So the first card that you got is the Bear. The second card that you got is the fox. The next card that you got is the magician. The next card that you got is the hermit. The next card that you got is the eight of swords. The next card that you got is the four of swords. Oh, here comes the sun. Okay, and we've got card number nine, Embrace the Dark. Okay. So we'll put that over there. Um, let me see. Well, the glare is going to be a factor, but I will show you each card individually, um, as I already did when we started. So the bear card here. So I get this person. They... They are a person who, they do want a commitment with you. This person, they stand tall against um, adversity. So there could be other people around that, um, you know, really don't want this connection to be happening. So this person's going to stand tall. This person, um, they are a bold person. They do have a lot of strength and they are very loyal and committed as the bear is, um, you know, very protective of its young. Um, so this person, they're territorial. They want you all to themselves. <clears throat> they want something committed with you and they want to protect this connection. So this person has a lot of authority. Uh, they want to be the authority figure. And we've got the fox. So this person, I think they are, uh, they're a quick thinker. I think that um, they're very sharp. Uh, they also are kind of cunning and sly. So I think they can maneuver their way out of problems very easily. Um, they do want this new beginning with you. This is also the Ace of Cups. So they definitely want a committed relationship. This is the King of Wands. So this person, they have a lot of passion for you. They really want to move things forward. They, they're a very bold person. They're not, they're not scared of a little bit of resistance from outside, which I do feel like in this connection, there is some resistance either on your part or on people around, but they're very protective of this connection. With the Magician card, this person, they're working really hard to um, focus on you, focus on this connection. I feel like they are a very wise person. Uh, they have all of the tools they need to make this 
relationship work. So they're in the process of creating this relationship with you. Um, this person, they could be a little bit magical. I feel like this person, they, uh, if they put all their energy into manifesting this, they really can, it will work for them. So I, I think they want that. They really want to manifest something with you. We've also got the lilies down here and the, the roses. So I think they want to figure out how to have this new beginning with you. Be romantic. Um, you know, they feel a peaceful feeling when they are around you. So you bring them to a happy place. And that's one of the reasons why they really want to manifest this connection. You've also got the Hermit card. So in this particular deck, it talks about um, your safe space. So maybe this person, um, they, they are a bit of a indoor kitty, if you will. I think that they like to stay in their safe space. And, you know, they've gained a lot of wisdom from doing that. So maybe they don't specifically go out in the world to learn things, but they can learn a lot from staying in their safe space. Um, I feel like this person, they're very, they're very smart. They're very observant. So, you know, even if they're inside, they're still looking outward. Um, they're seeing what's going on around them. Um, but they could have a tendency to kind of hide from this connection. So, you know, I also get that with the bear here. So it's kind of like sometimes this person feels as if they need to hide. They need to hibernate, uh, take a break, uh, but they still are focused on manifesting this connection. You've also got the Ace of Swords here. So I think that this person... Um, they do have some negative thoughts, you know. Um, they do sometimes feel like a victim, okay? And I feel like it could be these people, like I said, with um, this adversity to this connection. There's people around that just, for some reason, don't think that this is a good idea. And this person could really be internalizing what they're hearing from other people around them. And it's like, they're confused. They don't know what, you know, what's going to happen. They feel kind of like a victim. Uh, they feel pressure. They feel trapped. Um, this person, they could have psychological issues and they feel restricted. So even if they aren't restricted, it could be mentally, like maybe um, someone is overbearing. I don't know who it could be. That, there could be someone around who's overbearing in this person. It's like they just don't know what to do. They, they feel trapped. They feel like their hands are tied. And, you know, it, it could be hard for them to even know which way to go. Um, but it's like a self-created prison, um, that they can get out of. So it's just like in their mind. And then you've got the four of swords. So this card talks about, uh, you know, stepping back and resting, meditating, contemplating, um, needing that peace. And it also in this card, I get like praying, praying for guidance, praying for help in this situation. Um, so I really feel like this person, they do want a new beginning with you. They're very protective of this connection. However, it's starting to get to them. If there's resistance outside, uh, it, it's causing drama. And this person, uh, they're feeling all tied up in knots. They're feeling like their hands are tied, like they just don't know how to move forward, what to do. They could be going into hermit mode, you know, hibernating for a period of time. And we've got embrace the dark. So this also makes me think that this person, maybe when they were growing up, they were taught, you know, this is bad, this is good, this is negative, this is positive. And I think it's really, um, 
you know, they've, they haven't quite learned what, um, really is good and bad because it's like they were basing that on other people's opinions. So it's like someone taught this person what was right, what was wrong. Um, they really inspired this person to fear things, have anxiety, feel trapped in situations where they would want to move forward, but they, they're, they're scared. They're very scared. And, um, you know, this, this can be hard for this person to genuinely find love with someone because they're too distracted by, you know, the outside world. And this could be a really good connection, I feel. There could be a lot of love in this connection. Um, but it's like scared of, um, people are going to dislike this. It's like, uh, you know, people could hate this person if they decide to, um, move forward with you. Even if they loved it, I feel like there's other people that could hate it. And so it's like, this person genuinely, you know, doesn't know if things are bad or good. Like they, they can't really figure that out. So I think that's why they're taking a break to really meditate, to contemplate, to try to figure out why they feel this way. Um, they're very sharp. They're very bright. They're, um, so they're going to think about it. They're going to think about this, but I think that this could be a very stable connection if it's just like you guys and not worrying about, you know, other people's views of this. So that's what I'm getting if you pick number one. Let's do the yes, no before I forget. So think of your question. If you need to pause it, go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got yes. So whatever you asked, the answer is yes. For right now, things can change. Um, you know, I know some of you out there probably wanted to know, but uh, next time... Um, it definitely could be a no. Things change with actions that we take. Things are constantly changing. So that's all I have for you, number one. Thank you so much for coming, and I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so if you pick number two, I'm bored. Let's see. What does this person want to happen between you? Okay, you've got the gentleman. This is also the Two of Cups, so very promising. You've got the wine, and this is also the Queen of Wands. You've got the Fool card. You've got the Moon card. You've got the King of Cups. So could be water sign or could just be that type of energy. You've got the queen of cups. So we've got uh, the male and female counterpart. I'm going to switch these so that they're actually looking at each other. I'm sorry that bothers me. And then we've got embrace the masculine. Okay. So definitely, I don't really need to question this. This person definitely wants a commitment with you. Um, this person wants to be husband and wife, okay? That's what this person really wants with you. I see it right away. Um, no question whatsoever here. So this person, I feel like um, we've got the gentleman here. So I'm kind of getting this person is, um, they're kind of an effeminate man. Okay, I'm not being rude. I'm just saying this person is definitely in touch with their emotions. Okay, this person could be a little bit moody um, because they do have a lot of emotions that they're dealing with. Whether you're a man or a woman, I feel like there's a lot of em emotions involved in this particular connection. With the wine, I do get that you guys have a great time together. You guys, you know, maybe you guys have a few drinks, but I feel like it's all in fun. You guys, it's not like uh, you, you're angry. I feel like you guys, you're in 
high spirits when you are together. If you do have a couple drinks, then it's like just happiness, it's celebrations, it's cheerful, and it's lighthearted. So you guys have a lot of fun together. Um, it's a real loving connection. And with the Queen of Wands, maybe it's like if you're the feminine, if you have a couple drinks, it brings out that that very lusty side of you. So just saying because these cards, um, these are actually two different cards in one. So if you're a female, yes, maybe you get that way. Maybe you get loosey-goosey, but this person loves that, okay? They love that. It's nothing against you. Um, maybe you're just a little bit uptight, and when you have some drinks, you know, that playful side comes out, and they love that side of you. With the full card here, I think that um, this person really, they want you to stop worrying about the opinions of others and just be optimistic that this really is going to work. So trust and have faith that this is something real. We've got roses on this card. So it's like, and the sun is very prominent in this card as well. So I think this is definitely a very romantic very happy connection. Maybe other people would see it as kind of ugly. I don't know why because I think, you know, you guys really do have a good relationship. And, you know, I think it's like other people could think this is foolish, like this is a foolish thing that you're getting into. Um, maybe they think that you're misplacing your trust in someone you're like oh well you are just so naive you're gonna get yourself into this situation you're always doing stupid things you know I feel like somebody actually uh, because in this particular deck it does say don't worry about the opinions of others that's like one of the first things it says so I think that could really tie into this and the moon also, it says here, um, these little dogs are, they're, they're pests, okay? They're little pests to this cat. So someone is being, I feel like, causing you a lot of anxiety. And I don't know if it's this person or if it's outside people that's causing you this anxiety. But really, you have to pay no mind to that and really follow your intuition. Push through any fear. You could be making up illusions of like um, anxiety, that uncertainty, that um, this will actually work out, you know. But in this card, it does say you will make it home after this long night. You will make it home. So I think that probably this person does feel kind of like home to you you do feel very comforted when you're with this person and you're kind of worried like will I be able to overcome all of this you know these pests that keep barking at me you know that really could be part of the problem here um and the queen of cups and the king of cups so these people are very uh, emotional people, like I said, but you guys really care about each other. There's so much compassion. There's so much affection. There's so much love. I feel like you guys are both very tender hearted people and you guys are, are tolerant of each other. So it's like being there for that person. Like when this person wants to cry, this person, they're there to, you know, with the shoulder to cry on. And when the masculine wants to have a good cry, the feminine is there to lean on to, you know, they both understand each other and they both nurture each other. And it's like, you guys both have this spiritual connection. You guys could have like this psychic gift between the two of you, where you guys are actually able to pick up on the other people's thoughts, other person's thoughts, emotions, just by maybe eye contact or by physical touch. I think you guys really have a very strong connection. We've got counterparts here. So I really feel like you guys, um, you guys have the same purpose. You guys fit perfectly together and you guys really have the strong love for each other. 
And then we've got Embrace the Masculine, card number 11. So this person, they are very, if they're the masculine, like I said, they do have an effeminate side, a femininity. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But this person, um, they want to be more of a masculine man. So maybe that's one of their insecurities. Like they want to be assertive. They want to be dominant. They want to be strong, but I feel like this person, they're not strong. They could even be turning to alcohol as like a crutch um, to deal with emotions because they have so much emotions. And I feel like their emotions are kind of all over the place sometimes. And like I said, they're kind of moody. So this person, they want to uh, be more aggressive they want to be more of assertive person they don't want others to tell them what to do what they must do what they cannot do so this person wants to have the strength so like I said this person maybe they don't want other people to tell them with the full card it said um don't worry about the opinions of others. So this person, I feel like they want to be optimistic about this connection. They don't want to worry about the opinions of others. They don't want to allow others to tell them that, well, you can't do this. You can't be with this person. What are you thinking? You know? Um, but I feel like uh, you guys will get over this hump. Definitely get over this hump. Um, but you're going to have to do something different. No, that's what I'm getting. So let's um, let's do the coin flip. So focus on your question. Okay, so we've got no. So whatever you ask, the answer is no. Like I said, could be no for just right now. Next time you ask, it could be yes. So things are constantly changing. Thank you so much for coming and joining me over on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, and last but not least, if you picked flower power, let's see, what does this person want to happen between you? You've got the fish, and this is also the four of cups. You've got the whip, and this is also the ten of wands. You've got the judgment card. And the cat tarot. You've got the world card and the cat tarot. You've got the seven of pentacles. It seems like they're getting further away. You've got the justice card. So the judgment card and the justice card. And the final card that you got is we are all connected. Card number 49. Okay. All right. So this person, this person does want completion with you, whatever that means, whatever that means, whatever the outcome is, they want to complete this. They want to go through with this. Um, with the fish card, I feel like this person has kind of been struggling. Um, I think that this person, uh, it's it's been a battle for this person. They they are a fighter, and you know, I, it reminds me of like that uh, Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, and that's what this person feels like. They want to get to completion, whatever that may be. You know, it could be being together or it could be separating. But this person, they're a warrior. They're a fighter. They're not going to give up. This person could be a little bit emotionless. I mean, fish are cold-blooded. So this person could be a little bit emotionless, but they are driven. They are really driven to fight. Kind of like, um, you know, the, how the salmon, they, you know, they swim upstream. They're fighting to get up. It's not easy for them. So this person is a natural born fighter. But with the whip card here, I think that they're fighting against the wrong person. 
they could be fighting against you, you know, and, and you're not the one that wants to be the enemy. So this person, it's kind of heavy, like this person, maybe they're, they're, you know, debating with you, uh, they're aggressive towards you, or they're criticizing you is, is what you feel like. And it's putting a heavy burden on you. It's like, why won't this person, why do they have to like, hurt me? You know, why do they have to hurt me? I want to be a team with this person. I want to work with this person. But it seems like they're just all they want to do is argue, you know, it's like, maybe it's just a discuss discussion that you guys are having, but it feels like it gets heated, you know, you guys can't discuss anything without arguing, you know, and then there, it leads to this conflict, and then it leaves you feeling like, you know, you're being judged harshly, and with the judgment card here, it says, you know, you're your toughest critic. It, it says that right in this deck. So I think this person, they judge themselves really harshly. And so if you say anything to them, you know, that seems judgmental, this person takes it very personally because they're judging themselves already. So you add more judgment to them judging themselves and they just, they go off, you know? So they are their toughest critic. They judge themselves and I feel like they're examining their actions and they're like, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that, you know? And so it's like, they're judging what they did and, but the thing is, are they doing what they need to, to get where they want to be? And that's this completion. Are they doing what they need to, to get there? And to me, it looks like, no, they're not. They're really not. Um, with the Four of Cups, it's like they're just kind of sitting back and they're not taking what the universe is trying to give them. The universe is like, here, here's this cup of love. Don't you want this cup of love? And they're kind of like, uh, well, I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to work out, so why even try, you know? They, they have that negative mindset, like uh, they're you know, that the devil on their shoulder keeps coming in and saying, you know, why are you even doing this? You know, you know, it's not going to lead anywhere. When with the world card, it says, you know, there will be completion. Everybody's going to be purring and happy at the end, you know, and this person, they're just judging things way too harshly and they're not looking for things to go in their direction you know they're constantly thinking that things won't work out so like i said this person is a, a hard critic on themselves and they probably whip themselves you know um but anyways you know it's like stop doing that work as a team don't fight against you know someone who's only trying to be there for you and then we've got the seven of pentacles so this person, I really think that they do want things to grow with you. You know, they want to finish what they've started. They started this with you and they, they want to achieve it. So they need to start focusing on it more, you know, and with the justice card here, it's like what goes around comes around. So what you send out is what you get back. So this is the laws of karma. So it's cause and effect. So you know, I feel like this person, there needs, there needs to be more balance in this connection. I think this person, they're way too negative. They're way too hard on themselves and they could be emotionless, but for whatever reason that they do want things to grow between you, they do want to finish what they started. Um, but I just think that they don't believe that, you know, they're, they're going to win here. But the justice card is, it does say that the, a fair decision will be made. Fair to all parties. So all parties will get justice, okay? And it will be fair. And if you do have court cases, they'll go in your favor, okay? There will be good judgment, but this person is always looking to the negative. And then we've got we are all connected. So it's... This is just saying that, you know, we all have the same fundamental needs. What are we here for? You know, we were created, we were all created by God to love one another, you know, 
um, we all in some way or another sustain each other. And this person, you guys need to get on the same page. This is a fellow human being. This is a divine being. This person, they're alive. They breathe just like you. We all have the same fundamental needs. And we were all created for God. So we're all deserving of love. We're all deserving of, you know, we're all equal. You know, we're on the same universe. We're all a soul connected to God. And th this person needs to work on loving themselves. Um, I feel like that's a strong problem here. You know, is, is the self-love. And it's, it's a lot of like not putting in the work, you know, just expecting the universe to work things out when you have to make the effort. And if you do make the effort, then you will succeed is what I'm, 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 th I'm feeling here. But this person's kind of just like, they're not an active party. And if they are, they're just not positive you know they're not positive about this they're kind of depressed about this connection although they want it they're depressed about it so let's do the yes no so pause it if you need to okay so we got yes so whatever you ask the answer is yes so hopefully that's what you wanted but things do change next time it could be no Every action we take causes a reaction. So this is just for now. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do new readings almost every day. I also have a Patreon page. I do readings over there. Uh, for $5 a month, you can get access to those readings. Um, and I also have an Etsy page where I do personal readings. If you're interested in that, go check it out. The link is below. So sending you love and light and blessings, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.